Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well today I'm going to read a story about a penguin, but this is a little penguin, a baby penguin, and the story's called Be Brave Little Penguin. It's written by Giles Andre and the pictures are by Guy Parker Reese. Let's have a look inside. You can see on the front cover is the little penguin looking from an iceberg or a piece of ice into the water. Be brave, little penguin. And look, that looks like an igloo. I didn't know penguins lived in igloos. In the cold Antarctic sunshine, where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones, there were penguins short and tall, but little penguin Pip-Pip was the smallest one of all. Can you see? There is Pip-Pip. And while the other penguins were out swimming wild and free, little Pip-Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Names like Scaredy Pip-Pip sometimes echoed in his ears. He was sad, he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. What's the matter, Pip-Pip, said his daddy one fine day. You can't be scared of water. What a silly thing to say. Oh, look, that must be Mummy. Be gentle, said his Mummy, taking Pip-Pip by the hand. We all have certain fears that might be hard to understand. Come on, little Pip-Pip, dip your toes in here, just so. The water's calm and still now. Do it slowly. Have a go. But what if it's all freezing? Mummy, what if I get in and it's just too dark and deep for me? And what if I can't swim? And what if there are monsters there who smell me from their den and they slither up and eat me and I'm never seen again? I understand, my darling, said his mummy with a kiss. But Pip-Pip, what if now you try to think of it like this? What if in that water there are friends for you to meet? And what if it is light and warm and full of fish to eat? Take my hand, my darling. Here, just try it and you'll see. Please trust me. Little Pip-Pip, come, be brave now, just for me. Slowly Pip-Pip made his way towards the water's edge. He stared down at the ocean from the slippery, icy ledge. Then he looked back at his mummy, and as his small heart thumped, he closed his eyes, he held his breath, and little Pip-Pip, jumped splash for a while his mummy waited then she cried out something's wrong pip pip please where are you you've been under way too long so she leapt into the ocean diving deep into the blue then suddenly from nowhere came a little voice she knew. Mummy, mummy, over here. Hey, mummy, look at me. I'm swimming. Mummy, swimming. Look, I'm swimming. Can you see? She turned and spinning circles through the water, bright and clean, swam Pip-Pip with the biggest smile the world has ever seen. And as she watched her little one, right there before her eyes, he burst up through the surface and he soared into the skies. Hoo hoo, cried little Pip-Pip. Hey, look, mummy, I can fly. 
It's really not that tricky. You should try it, Mummy. Try. Oh, Pip-Pip laughed his Mummy as she watched him with a grin. I don't know about flying, but, oh my, you've learned to swim. Then his friends all gathered round as Pip-Pip landed with a bump and said, sometimes all you have to do is just be brave and jump. <laughs> and there are some other super stories. And there's the back cover with Mummy and Daddy. And that's the back and front cover. And there's the front cover with little Pip-Pip. Very nervous. Well, what a super story. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.